Hello everyone, welcome to this video. In this video, we will be seeing this result which states that factor group G oblique ZG which is created from the center of the group. This is isomorphic to the inner automorphism group of G. Now what is this inner automorphism group of G? We have various mappings phi from the group to the group the same group right such that it is an isomorphism by isomorphism we mean it is well defined it is one one it is on to and it is operation preserving right this if it has all these properties then it is isomorphism it is if it is isomorphism from same group to the same group then it is an automorphism right so we if we collect all such mappings and we create a group out of it that group is known as the inner automorphism group of g right and this you all know is a factor group so they say the factor group which is created from zg right it that is isomorphic to this inner iso, uh, automorphism group of g correct now in order to show that we have an isomorphism between these two what do we have to prove we have to first of all define a mapping right then for that mapping we have to prove it is well defined it is one one it is on two and it is operation preserving correct so let's proceed on to our first step define a map so we have to define a mapping t from the first uh, set the first uh, factor group to this inner automorphism group right so uh, what uh, all kind of elements are present here within this factor group you know its elements are cosets of the type such that from the group g we take the subgroup zg which is a normal subgroup of g from uh, the, uh, using this subgroup and use taking some element from here we can have the members as cosets this is a coset right this is our subgroup this is a coset representative so the members of this group they are cosets and here the members they are mappings right and what kind of mappings are there the mappings uh, such that they are uh, isomorphisms right so they are one one on two an operation preserving so here if we define this mapping so we should apply this t onto some coset here right let's call that coset as g z of g right and he, as a result we would get some function here some mapping here because these are the outcomes of this particular group so we, let's call that by phi g g here which is used as co coset representative is used here to define this mapping right the same g now how this phi g is defined you know phi would be a mapping from g to g correct because it is an isomorphism right so we can uh, take so phi g would be if we take some element x from here from this group so we may define phi g as uh, phi g of x it would be g x g inverse and why we are doing so because we are taking them to be the elements of this kind where uh, such that they can relate to this thing where we have this normal subgroup z g correct so this is the mapping now we have to show that this mapping which we have defined is well defined first of all and it is one one now they are opposite of each other if you remember well defined and uh, this one one how because for well defined we take the two elements we take two elements from the domain as equal and we prove that the images of these two are also equal to each other and in one 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 what we do we start with the images being equal to each other and we show that the elements itself they are equal to each other so all the steps they are reversible hence one proof will lead to another right so here we start by proving for well definedness so we take the two image uh, to the two uh, domain elements as equal gz of g is equal to h z of g that means two cosets they are equal to each other for some g and h taken from the group capital g right now using the properties of coset if you remember if you have a h is equals to b h then you would have a b inverse right this belongs to z uh, to h right this was the property so using the same property here we have h inverse g is a member of z g right now what is z g this is the center of the group right and what is the definition of center of group 
So say in center, if we have some element, it contains all the elements of G such that they commute with all other elements of G. Correct. This is the definition. So using this definition, if this is a member of ZG, so it would commute with all the elements of G. So for all X in G, it, you can write this element into X is equal to X into this element, right? There is no issue according to the definition. Now what we can do, we can pre multiply both sides with H and we can post multiply both sides with G inverse, right? So you see this H and H inverse that becomes the identity and this G and G inverse that also becomes the identity. So you are left with just G X G inverse and here A H X H inverse, right? So here you have both of them as equal to each other. And according to the definition of phi, if you see here, that becomes the definition of phi of g and phi of h respectively. And what is phi of g? If you see the definition for t, phi of g is your t of g z g, right? And phi of h similarly would be h z g. So we reach at uh, what we wanted here for well definedness. Now, if you follow the reverse step, if you start from here, go here, go here, go here, go here, and then here, and then here. Uh, so finally you will reach here. So this will prove that it is one to one. Right. So we have proved that T is well defined in one to one. Next we show it is on to. Now it is clearly on to. Why? Because for each phi G in this uh, group, inner automorphism group of G, we can find a coset G Z G in the factor group such that they both of them are linked to each other. So for every phi G, we have a G Z G present in this factor group. Hence, this is on to correct. Now for operation preserving property, we, we what we wanted to prove, we wanted to prove this thing that T of two elements, T of two elements A, B, this is equals to T of A of p right so because the domain contains coset so we take two elements as coset so t of two elements this is equal to t of first element into t of second element so let's take this left hand side first so if you take the left hand side here now by the definition of cosets if you have a h b h so you can write it as a b h so this is what i have done here and now, according to the definition of T, how you have defined your T, this becomes equal to phi of G, right? Whatever is a coset representative that come in the subscript. Now, because phi is an automorphism, so clearly it is operation preserving. So you can write your phi G H as equals to phi of G, phi of H. Why? Because phi is an automorphism. It is an isomorphism. So hence it is operation preserving. Now, what is phi of G according to the definition? It is T of G Z G. And what is phi H? It is T of H Z G, right? So the, hence we have, and this is what we wanted to prove here. Let's have a look. Yes. So we have proved that this is operation preserving. This mm -hmm. is one to one. This is on to, this mm -hmm. is well defined. Hence this forms an isomorphism. So that means that two groups, the one is the factor group constructed by the center and this inner automorphism group of G, they both are isomorphic to each other. So I hope you understood this result well. Well, that is it for this video. Thank you for watching.